Hey there everybody, Nathan Nelson here, and those of you who are not new to this channel know that I love using Retouch For Me for retouching in Photoshop, but Retouch For Me recently came out with a brand new way to use their plugins in Photoshop, which makes the entire process just that much easier. Not only that, they added a few new additions to the plugin lineup, so let's jump into Photoshop and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here we are in Photoshop, and the way that I used to have to use Retouch For Me was I would take my background layer, come down, make a copy of that layer, then come over to my filters, drop down to my retouch for me folder, and then select whatever filter it is that I wanted to apply. Now, this process worked, but if you wanted to add multiple filters to an image, it was a bit of a painstaking process. So what they've done is they've gone and created their own retouch for me panel. Now, this panel is free to download, free to use, and it's actually amazing. Now there's two different ways that you can use it. There's the cloud retouch, which is essentially a subscription based idea where you pay a certain amount per month that gives you a certain amount of credits. Now I think it's $35 per month gives you 500 credits for retouching, which is 500 images that you can retouch over the course of that month. Now with that subscription, you get the full 10 plugin suite at your disposal, which makes it a little bit more affordable because that's one of the things with this software is people have sort of said, you know what, it's great, but it can be a little bit expensive. Well, this is a really easy way to access it without having to pay those upfront costs. Now, what I've done is I've got all of the plugins that I used already installed on my computer and this just goes through and finds all of those plugins. If you wanna buy the plugins individually, use the link down in the description, you'll get 20% off. Now. As I was saying, they have a few new functions that they've added in to retouch for me, which is this eye brilliance, the eye vessels, and the white teeth. Now, I'm gonna show you how I use retouch for me, just simply selecting a few of these different options and what that does to the final image. So I'm gonna select dodge and burn, I'm going to select skin tone, then eye vessels, eye brilliance, and white teeth. Then I'm just simply going to select retouch and it's gonna go through and do it all. So let's just click on this. So what this does is it takes every single plugin that I told it to use and it puts it in its own separate labeled layer which makes it incredibly efficient and easy to manipulate. So I'm gonna walk you through all the different layers and show you why I chose these for this specific image. Now the first one I have here is the skin tone and if we come in a little bit tighter here, you can see if I turn this off, Liz's hands, they're just a little bit red. That's normal, it's part of how our bodies are built. Our hands just tend to be redder than our faces. So if I turn this back on, you can see that that skin tone evens out. It just makes everything a lot more fluid. And again, rather than going in and masking everything, it was a click of a button, which is amazing. Now, the next thing is the dodge and the burn. And again, this is just a, a really nice refinement that I like to use. So if I turn this off, if you look at, say, her chin, when I turn this back on, areas like that, they just smooth out. It doesn't look overly softened, it's just fine-tuned. Again, just a nice little addition into doing the final retouches on this image. Now, from here, we get into some of the new functions that Retouch For Me has added. Now, the first one here is whiten teeth. And as you can see here, if I turn this off, the teeth substantially whiten when you turn it back on. Now this is a little bit aggressive for my taste, but this is the way some of the software works is it comes in at 100% and then you can just dial it down to suit your needs versus coming in weak and having to apply it a bunch of times in order to get the results that you want. So I'm just going to select my white teeth, then I'm gonna come up to my opacity and I'm just gonna drop that down a little bit. And now when I turn this off and on, that just looks a lot more natural. Now the next thing is the eyes. Now if I turn this off and I turn this back on again, as you can see, it just adds just this perfect little punch into the eyes. Now I used both the eye vessel and the eye brilliance, but when you select them both, it puts it into one folder to keep it all nice and neat, but you can still control them independently. So again, I'm just gonna grab my eye brilliance here. I'm gonna dial that down just a little bit. And then when I turn that off and on, there we go, that's it. So I'm just gonna zoom out here. I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna show you a before and an after. And it just adds in those final touches that take so much time, but make you know a substantial difference in the final product 
that you're delivering. And all I had to do was push a couple of buttons. And so there you go, an awesome update to already amazing software. Now, if you do wanna try Retouch Frame, but you don't wanna actually purchase anything, download the panel, and then you can sign up for 20 free credits. They don't expire, and you can use them to edit 20 images. So one credit is one retouch. Now, with that being said, if you do decide that you wanna purchase some of the plugins, make sure that you use the link down in the description. It gets you 20% off any plugin that you purchase. But with that, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.